After a frightening round of storms that ripped through Pulaski, people are still picking up the mess Mother Nature left behind. Can't get that tornado video out of my head from yesterday. And as NBC26's Kelsey Dickinson shows us now, some of that cleanup after that big storm won't come cheap. On Chicago Street in Pulaski, cleanup continues after a tornado touched down in the area Wednesday. <laughs> A tree service crew could be found in one man's backyard cutting branches off a damaged tree. I thought the house was um, going to be a little bit more damaged than it was, but most of it was just the trees. Fallen tree limbs took down part of Shannon Anchor's fence. Damages are estimated around $2,000, but Anchor says the housing authority is covering those costs. One of the representatives was out here yesterday with the crew, and they said they were going to take care of the damages because the tree was on their property, so couldn't ask for anything better. I said the Pulaski community in general is just phenomenal. So. Just down the block. Uh, right now I'm in emergency mode. Jonathan Cullingford cleared debris from three uprooted trees in his backyard, one of which fell onto his home. And I couldn't see into my backyard, came back and saw a very large tree in my house. <laughs> His family had to evacuate Wednesday after another tree fell, knocking a power line onto the ground and into water. Cullingford says he doesn't know the extent of the damages or costs at this time. At this point, the only thing I was worried about is everyone was safe. Uh, no one got hurt. I was happy about that. Um, and right now, money is, that's not even a concern right now. It's just get it fixed, get it safe to live in again. As of Thursday afternoon, power hadn't returned to his house. And out here at Pulaski Community Park, you can see behind me the storm did knock down a power pole. Village officials tell me it'll cost a couple thousand dollars to replace. In Pulaski, Kelsey Dickinson, NBC 26. So the work continues and Pulaski officials estimate around 40 trees went down during the storm Wednesday yesterday, most of which they say managed to miss area homes. So good news. It was a much different day today, thankfully. Yeah.